Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on season four, episode eight of my Solar Opposites reaction series. This episode is called, oh my God, the Super Gooblers. And let's get watching. Are you gonna say get fucked and try to kill us? Oh no, I don't wanna be a burden, you know. I can't be a teen mom. I don't even have a neck tattoo. Oh, oh. Totally oh. I coughed up a lavender oh. Googler last week. Was I supposed to report that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> Give it to me, Papa Laika. This must be a romance Googler because I'm such a romantic and shit. That's a freaky little shithead horny Googler and you fucking know it. So we all have new Googlers. I made five. What? <laughs> Terry's Googlers. Sound off. Klepto Googler. Terry uh -huh. on disc Googler. Uh, envy Googler. Baby Googler because Terry loves saying baby why are we making all these colorful goobs right now well that's a dumb question <laughs> jessica so you're acting like you don't know anything like about slurring. scorpion anatomy <laughs> obviously every hundred thousand times we stress out and goobler one big red one shows up have you ever thought that like instead of indulging in these long needlessly complicated schemes to get candy or harry potter whistles that maybe you could use that big ass pupa brain to make the world a better place yeah pupa the satisfaction you get from making the world a better place would taste way better the super goobler is designed to eliminate the scorpion with emotion problems removing them from the terraforming team ultimately protecting the mission it's an evolutionary thing so all of these little guys are gonna grow up <laughs> and kill us? Well, that can't be right Don't mine was a stress googler <laughs> these are all too nice when i get bigger i'm gonna fuck you up baby <laughs> baby <laughs> too much of being a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day I, th this is probably a bad pitch but maybe it'll get us going i don't want to kill mine either just look at that pelvic definition oh my you know, god maybe someone can turn their lives around fasten your seatbelts because daddy terry tricked out this bus in the theme of his favorite road trip movie speed if we go under 50 <laughs> we explode remember remember dennis hopper's got that little fucked up hand <laughs> What do you think my Goobler is? Maybe it's oh, like a sweet talker or something. Out. Jessica, your Goobler is a Goobler for sucking. It takes up a bunch of space and it's a dead weight piece of shit with nothing to offer the world done. and everybody hates it. You can't have next week off, Alice. I don't care what stage your cancer is in. Yes, Miss Brandy. <laughs> is the pupa gonna kill her? <laughs> ah! What the fuck are you supposed to be? Get out of here! <laughs> Cuckoo Melon. <laughs> Coco melon? <laughs> oh my god, what do you want? One, two, four, five. Oh fuck, where's my klepto goobler? Maybe we left him at the local Scottish food place we stopped at. You mean McDonald's? Fuck, he's probably still there, stealing all the McFlurry toppings. Oh, it's getting dark. Coco melon. Jason, <laughs> shit. You're not real. You're just a side effect of my goop ayahuasca vaginal gummy crowns. Uh, I'm just gonna take some of my rhino horn pills. How dare you sit there judging me with your cookie monster eyes? Coco melon. You can't judge me. Only my lovers can judge me I... because that's what gets me off. I choose loneliness. I love that he only says words that little kids would know. Oh, they made it. Ligers, middle-aged wolves, albino pythons. My snakes! Anna Connor and Lahissa, you're thriving! What would you guys like <laughs> to abandon? We have several <laughs> customizable packages. Oh shit! Jesse, your Googler got fat as fuck! Why didn't you say anything? I did on the bus! Next time, speak up, massacre! If you weren't part of my mission, I would abandon you here too. Oh, ah. he's not gonna like that. I didn't give you permission to perch there. Coco Melon, let's see if you can dodge <laughs> all these expensive rich lady collectibles. Basquiat's basketball. Air Bud Skull. <laughs> An Irish femur from the Titanic. Elf, elf. Can anybody hear me? Oh, of course not. I'm all alone. By my own design. Mmm, this hot cuoco is pumpkin spicy. <laughs> Instagram. 
Sam, you gotta tell it not to let people take you. I can't. We get a lot of business through social. Would you just <gasps> leave me alone? Quirbos oh, head, oh my god! connected through the emotional spectrum. I could feel their presence when you made them. Why is your brewery called Die Corvo in Latin? Get out! And why are all your beer names so violent and abusive? Heffa, why is Corvo still alive? I <laughs> see a bullet in Corvo's head. Stella? I said get out! <laughs> Die Corvo milk stout? <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I did it since Corvo doesn't have a butt and I don't have a dick. Nah, it's okay. I don't need to know. You don't need to know. Oh, no. I took a little hole out okay. of my butt and used a shampoo bottle as a phallus. It kept falling off. I just listened to some random ass music. I'm alone. You can see how unhappy I am. <laughs> I hate being the executive who decided ExxonMobil should care more about profits than people. Yeah, that was me. I was also the one who made insulin <laughs> cost so much, though. It's basically free to make. Yeah, y'all suck for that. I'll help save your village that I destroyed with that pipeline. I oh want to be a better person. And it's all thanks to this strange creature that... <gasps> Maybe he was never really there. I thought this would be more like Leighton Meester's Meester Rogers neighborhood for sea creatures and where to dump them. Jeez, mm. these celeb animal rescue names are getting pretty sweaty. Did Justin voice the Red Goobler? I feel like he sounds a little bit different, but it's also the fact that he sounds a little bit different that's making it even more funny. That's definitely an anger repression Goobler. <laughs> She's gonna consume everyone else and save you for last. Google! Google, go, 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 go! Google, go, go! Google, go, 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 go! go. Oh, it didn't Google. work! This is all your fault. Why do you suck so much? Oh, Corvo? Shut! Shut! Get him, Jesse, let it, it out! Shut your filthy mouth, Corvo! It's your fault you're in here. If you weren't being mean to me all the time, I wouldn't have a fudge and Googler. You never appreciate all the work I do around the house and I never get a story with you ever! Hi, Jessica. We can have a story if you calm down. Oh yeah, baby, that's a good story. <laughs> Jesse, your anger. Expressing it made your Googler explode. Yeah, that's what happens if you actually show real growth. Then why are you still around? Because you're a myopic, stressed out piece of shit! Right. <laughs> As the King Goobler says, Ooby Gooby Goo! <laughs> Did he say King Goobler? What the fuck is that? Looks like all my Goobies <laughs> love working with you. It's my turn to say, get fucked! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, 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 my leg! Oh, Jesus Christ, it fucking hurts! Help! I want to be a better person! Shit, pubes! You did it! You did something good for humanity instead of scheming for candy! Hold on. You already have three million subscribers and a Starburst sponsorship? <laughs> Starburst? Ooby gooby dooby, get fucked! <laughs> what a show, what a show. That was such a fun episode. It honestly contained everything that I love so much about Solar Opposites. It really played into their family dynamic and the relationship that each of the characters have with each other and also the specific energy that each of the characters bring to the table. Like, of course. Of course, Corvo's Goobler would be the angry, crabby one. Yummy Lax is just a little deviant. Jesse's is repressed anger disguised as sadness and sweetness. And Terry, with how much he loves attention and is just all over the place all the time, it makes perfect sense that he would have five of them all with completely different personalities. Speaking of which, did we ever get a hold of the yellow Goobler? Oh yeah. There he is. And the pupa's arc in this episode was so good. I love when he has little adventures on his own and seeing him play such a menacing character saying Coco Melon over and over and over again was so funny to me. I also thought the part where the red Googler addressed the white Googler in Googler talk was very funny too. This is up there for me as far as favorite episodes this season. It's probably tied with the Dino episode. Question for the comment section. If you Googler, what would your Goobler be? I'm not gonna lie, mine would probably be like Jesse's. Anger is not an emotion that I'm very comfortable with. I get it out in other ways. Working out is a very good outlet for me. But yeah, another one of my favorite parts from this episode is when Jesse said, What did I Goobler? Because I'm just too big of a ray of sunshine. And I was like, oh no, this show just read me for filth. 
So yeah, I imagine that my Googler would be more specific to me and my exact personality, but if I had to pick one from this episode that would be most like the Googler I would probably have, Jessie's white one is pretty spot on. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.